when I was a young drummer, when I was in uh, high school and grade school, um, I took private lessons. And, uh, and my instructor, Jeff, would bring out these pieces, these, uh, these snare drum pieces that I would play in front of a professional uh, musician to be rated. It was called the Solo and Ensemble Competition. The competition was only for yourself. You were rated from one to five. If you got a one, you got a blue ribbon. You did everything properly. But when he would bring these pieces out, the first thing he would do is, here's what you're gonna play for solo and ensemble competition this year. And he'd lay it in front of me and all I'd see is just a sea of black. And it was, it was very intimidating. And then of course, and he, and of course he made it worse by sitting down, just come on, step up for a second, Tom, and, and I'll, I'll show you what it sounds like. And then he'd tear it up. <laughs> which intimidated me even more. But he was a good instructor and he, he would show me how to, uh, how to break things down. And that's how I, that's how I pretty much learned all of my, all of my rudimental drumming. Um, but this particular piece called the Badger Strut, I think I was in like um, seventh or eighth grade. Uh, it's instead of one page, it's two pages. And the second page, the, the, you know, the first page is pretty straightforward, you know, uh, rudimental drumming uh, piece. But the second page, when, when he played it, I thought was very interesting. And it was interesting in that, I don't know, it just had a feel about it that, that, that just, it, 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 it seemed like it went on and on, but how he was able to play it and make it sound musical just blew my mind. And I had to learn to do it, of course. I had to slow it down to about 10 beats a minute to try to figure it out, and I did. And I, and I sat there and I would go, Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left. Because all the sticking is all is all mapped out. And I ended up memorizing pretty much half the piece. Stick, for, you know, R's and L's that are all written across here. And I just, it was just, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do it. How do you play it that fast? How do you play it that, that, that precisely all the time? And then I figured it out. All these, all these L's, all these left-hand parts in the piece, it, it's a roll. It's just an endless roll with accents. So if you're playing, so, so this part, part of the piece is but with an accent, so, so there's a pattern that keeps repeating itself. But it also learns, it also teaches you to switch from your right hand to your left. But the left-handed double thing went through the whole piece. And so you come up, so once it's up to speed, you know, you've got stuff like this. And to me that, that just to me that, that just sounded so cool. So I use that I use that I use snare drum fills a lot. So the way that this changed my playing is I started bringing those left hand doubles down because those accents could be applied to a beat. See how much cooler that sounds, or I, you know how different that sounds. Same thing with the fills. Keep that sucker down here. Put that double up on the hi-hat. And it strengthened my left hand, which needed help. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's below. And most importantly, don't forget when you're playing the drums, have fun. Thanks.